Mikel Arteta prepared his Arsenal stars for any threat by hiring pickpockets last season, and there were few signs of Wolves pilfering a point at the Emirates. A first-half header from Kai Havertz eased the tension and set the sails on course for a comfortable 2-0 victory and their 17th win out of 19 Premier League games in 2024. Wolves came out hunting in the second half and at times pinned back the Gunners, but they hardly had a glance of goal against a cast-iron defense. When Arsenal needed a hero to wrap up the job, who else but Bukeo Saka, the force of nature who had assisted Havertz before blasting home the second late on? Here are male sports player ratings from the game. David Raya, 6. Was sometimes stationed so high as a sweeper that he should have brought a broom. Rarely troubled, but he reacted so well to save a goal-bound header from Strand Larson. Ben White, 6. Snapped at a couple of half chances. You'd think he was role-playing as Joe Gomez. Showed plenty of attacking impetus, but failed to properly test Saw with a couple of half volleys. All the same, with an energetic display, showed why it is a shame that England cannot call on him. William Saliba, 7. So strong. Snuffed out a promising counterattack by Doherty, like he was swatting a side of fly. Made multiple tackles and clearances and towered tall when Wolves went long ball. Nothing to suggest this defense can't be the best in the league once again. Gabriel, 6.5. Threw his ribs in the way of an early shot and needed a moment to catch his wind. Once again, looked an absolute menace from set pieces, having scored against Lyon in the Emirates Cup and been part of a record equaling 16 goals from corners in 2023-24. Oleksandr Zinchenko, 5. One of the shakier performers among the Arsenal team today, and that is not ideal with Ricardo Calafiri, Jurian Timber, Jakob Kiwier, and Takahiro Tomiyasu all aiming down their sights at the left-back spot. A limp, wayward cross before the break summed up his afternoon, but to his credit, he generally nullified Huang. Hooked for Jurian Timber with 20 to go. Martin Odegaard, 5.5. Mostly hushed for 70 minutes until he fizzed a crackling shot at Sa, earning a corner. Other than that, besides a nice back heel to Havertz, this was a tame performance. Nominated for PFA Player of the Year this week, and for good reason, but struggled with Wolves' physicality Thomas Party. 6. One critic commented online that Party is a shadow of his former self, but that Wolves had so few chances coming through the middle is a testament to the quiet work of Party who was always in the right place at the right time and won the majority of his duels. Had a couple of scary moments in the second half where he lost the ball close to home. Flashed a shot wide when he should have hit the target. Declan Rice, 7. Had license to get forward and acted as a good option to recycle the ball to in the final third if a teammate reached a dead end. Also had a few surging runs into the box to make himself an option but without reward. Workmanlike. Bukayo Saka, Walopuntulima. A constant live wire and big moment grasper, as you'd expect from a man who contributed 34 goals and assists last season. Roared into life from the early stages and never stopped. Beautiful cross for Havertz's goal. Blasted home a venomous strike for his 59th gunner's goal. When Mikel Arteta needed his man to step up under the cosh, he rose to the occasion. Received a standing ovation as he went off. Kai Havertz, 8. Took him 10 games to score last season, but only 25 minutes here with a powerful header. What a sea change it has been for the Germans since those gloomy days of arrival. Was the linchpin of the front line. The conduit through which so much flowed, and took the fight to Wolves with enough pressing and elbows out of possession. Does also take home the gong for worst shot of the match. Gabriel Martinelli, 6.5. So composed on the ball, a flickering agent of chaos and sometimes it felt like he was in his own space-time continuum. So hard was he to touch. Nearly finished a sweet move at the end of the first half, after jinking inside with a deft flick. Manager, Mikel Arteta, 6.5. Got the job done. This was not a vintage Arsenal performance, but his side were largely in control, fashioned enough chances, and limited the visitors to a couple of clear-cut chances. Interesting to see what he does going forward regarding left-back, left wing, in the number 6 position. Bukeo Saka impressed as Arsenal defeated Wolves and Kai Havertz was full of praise for his teammate. Kai Havertz labeled Bukeo Saka as unbelievable as his teammate was the catalyst for Arsenal starting their Premier League campaign with a 2-0 win over Wolves. 
England winger Saka produced a wonderful cross for Havertz to head home the opener at Emirates Stadium on Saturday. Provider then turned scorer in the second half when Saka cut inside Ryan Aitnori and drilled low into the near post. Speaking to Sky Sports after the game, Havertz said Saka is unbelievable. There are not a lot of players like him on the planet, and he is still so young. He can get better. It is very rare to see a young player like this perform every week at the highest level. Arsenal were impressive in the first half, but were thankful to David Raya for a couple of big saves, and there was a noticeable shift in atmosphere during a second period in which Wolves posed a few more questions. But manager Mikel Arteta was impressed with the way his side, who finished second to Manchester City in the league last season, were able to ultimately get the job done to start the new campaign with three points. I am really happy. With the first game you have some uncertainty in how you will respond, he said. We had our moment after 1-0 when we were not in control but after Saka's goal, we were much more comfortable. The way the boys go about their job is unbelievable, so very happy. We knew Wolves could change the game, and they did in the second half, but with our changes we became a bit stronger. We certainly are. We had a really good preseason. There are things to improve for sure, but overall very happy. The lack of control in the second half we can improve, we gave so many simple balls away. We also had to finish situations better, but overall very happy. Wolves boss Gary O'Neill felt his side applied themselves well and thought the visitors were the more likely to score with the game at 1-0. Speaking to BBC Sport, he said I thought we were good. I was pleased. I obviously don't like losing but we gave Arsenal a tough game. We restricted them to not too many chances. In terms of being in the game and having a chance I felt that, at 1-0 down I felt we were more likely than them. I'm pleased with what we were able to produce, but I've spoken to the players about the little details, especially against teams like Arsenal. They found two moments of quality and we just missed a couple of hours. Mikel Arteta compares Bukeo Saka to Lionel Messi after the Arsenal star bagged a goal and assist in their season opener against Wolves. Saka assisted Kai Havertz headed opener in the first half before scoring himself on 74 minutes via a sharp cut in and strike inside goalkeeper Jose Sanier post. When asked why players can't stop Saka cutting in on his left foot, Arteta said with good players, it's like that. With Lionel Messi I know he's gonna come here and put the ball there, but he does it all the time. You can't stop him. That's the quality of the players. Arteta also hailed the mentality of his international stars who played at the Euros and trained on their holidays. Saka, Declan Rice and David Raya all missed Arsenal's U.S. preseason tour, but returned for the season's opener just 34 days after the Euros ended. He said I'm not surprised they came back straight away. That was their mentality straight away after the last game. They said, I'm gonna be ready for the first game. I spoke to them after the summer and tried to arrange a plan. They wanted to come back and be here early. They were already getting prepared when they were on holidays. This is the mentality that we need. If players are doing that compromise, it will grow around the team and they will step up the level. That's what we need. Wolves boss Gary O'Neill said I thought we were good. I was pleased. I obviously don't like losing but we gave Arsenal a tough game. We restricted them to not too many chances. In terms of being in the game and having a chance I felt that, at 1-0 down, we were more likely than them. They found two moments of quality and we just missed a couple of hours.